Some songs capture a moment so well, you can smell summer at 60 miles an hour, or feel the cold steering wheel as you're driving away from someone you never thought you'd say goodbye to, or you can still taste the gum in your mouth before your first kiss. It's like there's three and a half minutes for every moment that you really felt alive. Human heart is a scary part, in fact. Cause I could break you and you could break me back. One of the things that initially drew me to music was the opportunity to feel understood in writing songs. So there's not a lot of things you can do in life that I've found where you can experience something, turn it into art, and perform it for people, whether a small group or a big group of people, and they can nod their heads and say, yeah, I get that. And you can kind of be affirmed in your vulnerability that other people feel the same things. There are some songs you finish and and you feel satisfied because it was like an exercise and you've completed something, kind of like checking off a to-do list. And that really is an incredibly productive feeling. But there's other songs, the really special ones, um, that kind of come around every not so often. You feel like you uncovered something that was always there. When you, when you read the words and you perform it and you share it with somebody and you kind of see the way they react, it's almost like you just discovered something more than you created something. All the Faint Lights is one of the songs that started with a heavy feeling. Um, and the feeling was, man, I've tried a lot of things to feel whole and feel... Um, loved and to feel um, like I understood my life. The faint lights are things in our lives that we run to to find fulfillment and we don't have it. And our culture presents us with all kinds of things that we think will fulfill us. They want us to believe that at least. Started on the sea and wrote the song. Lies are like stones, they sink in. Those are all the things that um, life tried to sell me and I didn't buy. That's one of those songs that's special and I felt like I uncovered it. Lies are like stones, they sink in Pulling the air you breathe in You can keep it inside The devil will reside if you let Our hearts are all barricaded And the poisons will decorate it But I wanna know love I wanna be Put up a fire, but now it's 
I can unpack an idea or an experience I've had and share that with somebody else and they resonate with it. Uh, that's a, that's an addictive feeling. There's nothing that rivals writing songs for me as far as a skill and a passion. I think there's other things I could do, but nothing I love as much as playing music. I was encouraged every step of the way you know, that, that people were connecting to what I was doing in a really small way, but in a way that was enough, it was enough for me to say, okay, people get it, it's working. I'll drive another eight hours to play for some more chicken fingers. A lot of music is like almost just make, it's kind of making it seem like it's working, you know? Um, so I, I guess I made it seem enough like it was working and that I was willing to work, which is the most important thing. The bottom line is working. And, and being willing to work for nothing um, for a period of time, because that's how you make it in music. When a song's finished, I learn about the things that moved me. And when I share that song, I learn about the things that move everybody else. And I think those things are pretty universal. I think that vulnerability is at the heart of every great song, and whoever's singing it is putting everything out on the line. And it's that vulnerability that makes a song worth repeating. 